for, I would say the majority of patients, probably close to 80% of patients who have really significant um, uh, peripheral neuropathy symptoms, most of those patients when you examine them are gonna show signs of nerve compression. Very often the situation is that there's some underlying metabolic process, whether it be diabetes or perhaps hypothyroidism, and actually most of the time you don't really know what the underlying cause is. You sort of have a two-layer cake. You have something going on that makes the nerves abnormal, and then as a result of that, secondarily the nerves become pinched or compressed. And it's that pressure on the nerve that very often is what's causing the clinical symptoms that everybody just writes off as due to the underlying neuropathy process. A patient who was told they had peripheral neuropathy and there's nothing you could do about it, she underwent surgery, we decompressed the nerves to the, to the bottom of the foot and she's basically better, all the pain is gone.